Hello everybody, welcome to the Mothman Jones Movie Channel. I'm your host, John Maffio. It's really hot outside and it's almost October in this New York. How? How is that possible? This is my review for Battle of the Sexes, directed by the creators of Little Miss Sunshine. It stars the great, the lovely Emma Stone, and the incredible Steve Carell. It's a true life story about the Battle of the Sexes that took place decades ago between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs in tennis. So we have basically moved fully out of the summer movie season. We are definitely concretely in the fall season where we're getting a lot of Oscar date movies or movies that deserve attention for being true life events or this or that, performances, cinematography, music, what have you. This definitely feels like one of those films that was placed where it was placed on the lineup of the year for a reason. But it still didn't take away my enjoyment of the film. I really like this movie. It's nothing special. It's nothing great. The topic is very relevant, and you should see it because of the relevancy of the topic and equality for men and women. <laughs> Excuse me while I die for a second. I really think the movie is worth seeing, not just for the story, but for the performances too. Emma Stone, as always, she puts in 110% in her performances. You really buy into her as Billie Jean King. You really buy into her inner uh, mental state and turmoil. She's regarded as a very revered female tennis player, but she's dealing with things internally and externally involving inequality, um, discrimination against women. Uh, she's actually feeling feelings for her own team, but she's married to a white guy. And uh, she's fighting a lot of battles, and you really buy into that throughout the movie. It never really feels forced. It all connects well, and it's very satisfying to see her conquer her battles at the end of the movie. Steve Carell playing Bobby Riggs could be seen on the surface, based on trailers and the story, as the bad guy. But he's also fighting his own battles as well. And ultimately, you take away some pretty impactful things from his character, and seeing where he ends up from where he starts in the beginning of the movie. If you didn't, even if you didn't or didn't know about the story, if you were around during that time, or if you read up on the history of it. I also really liked how the film was composed, how the film was arranged and edited and placed in conjunction with music. You really are transported to the 70s with this film, and any movie that uses Elton John in it, I didn't mention it in Kingsman 2, but any movie that uses Elton John in their film, uh, y you got me. I don't consider this a spoiler. <clears throat> I'm still dying. But there's a moment where Elton John's Rocket Man comes on, and like, I was taken to a higher place in that moment. I really was. If you're going into this film looking for some high octane tennis racket action, you're not gonna get that. This movie is trying to tell a bigger story than that. Although there are some compelling moments with tennis playing, um, the sport is represented very well, I think. Um, it's not really about that. Although I do think the film is missing a very big celebratory bang, like a big celebratory spice that just knocks this movie to another level that it could have probably been at. It's still a very sweet and solid film with really good performances that is worth checking out, again, for the relevancy of the topic, the subject matter at hand on its own, and the performances. And also, if you're a fan of 70s culture, that too, because you'll get all those vibes with the graininess and the soundtrack. And also, a quick shout out to Sarah Silverman, who really kills it with her little performance. Not on screen that much, but when she's there, she kills it. But yeah, I really enjoyed Battle of the Sexes. I wouldn't rush out to see it. It's not like a fantastic sports movie that's going to make you cry or feel a ball of emotions. But definitely very sweet, solid filmmaking and a really good story too. But you don't have to rush out in theaters to see it. I'm going to give it a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's a darn good Applebee's meal. Anybody who knows me knows that any film with Emma Stone in it is a movie that I'm going to see. I think it's fair to say that she picks some really damn good scripts and some really damn good movies to star in. She has a really great resume, arguably, minus the Amazing Spider-Man movies, but I enjoy those too. But now I want to know from you guys, what did you think of Battle of the Sexes? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, please like the video, subscribe so you don't miss any reviews ever again, and check out everything else down below. I'm John. Uh, Mafio, aka Mothman Jones. Ah, uh, ooh, ah! Uh, I had to get the moans in there. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. I'll see you guys next time.